Hello everyone, Bipper22 here. Welcome back to What's New, the show about the stuff and about the news about the me. So, welcome. I'm gonna talk about myself. I have a couple things I'm gonna go over. Of course, I'm gonna go over the new games I got from Christmas uh, till now. So, there's a handful of stuff I'm gonna show there. Uh, I have a room tour. Raise the roof. I got a tour of this room before the first announcement. I'm moving again. I'm moving again. What? What happened, man? Like, I feel like I just got here and I just put up a brick wall, painted, made everything perfect in here. And now I gotta move because my mom put it on the market. And it's sold in 24 hours. So, this might, this is probably gonna be the last video you see of me inside this room. I don't know if I have a video up about the history of my, my room and my house and all this stuff, because none of this would have been possible if I didn't have my own room. I could have been in like a tiny little baby room. They, my parents would have forced, might have forced me to keep a bed in here instead of a couch. So, there's a lot of things that went into this house, and it kind of sucks, but it's also kind of exciting, because we are planning on building a house, and yes, I know I'm 18, so I'm probably not going to have a lot of say, because I'm probably going to move out in like three to four years, something like that, but we're going to be building a house on a lot of land, and so, I may or may not get a basement. And welcome back to your favorite segment. Stuff I got. Alright, so I have in front of me the games I got from 2020 Christmas to today, which is actually a lot of stuff. A lot more than last week, but there's a lot of cooler stuff here, and let's just get into it. Alright, two games that I would consider are very similar is Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Again, if you know, I'm trying to get every single black label i'm trying to get every single game that was released with the nes on day one so there mario brothers and duck hunt were were part of it and there's two other games that are part of it but these are a lot harder to find and they're a lot more expensive and that is ice climbers and clue clue land now clue clue land was around 25 dollars and ice climbers was about 15. So, not as expensive, but Clue Clue Land was crazy. This is the first time I've really ever seen these games in stores because they're very rare, so yeah. Alright, next up, I might as well show you. I ended up buying a Sega Genesis. I can't exactly remember why or when, but it was it was around a couple weeks after Christmas during January. So, with the Sega Genesis, I got... Clay Fighters for the Genesis. I got it for Genesis because they had it there. I felt like I had to get at least one game with it because if I didn't, it'd just be sitting there. So I got to, I played it for a little while. It's it's pretty cruddy, but that's just because it's old. And I thought it was cool because the sequel to this game is the rarest game on the uh, 64. So I kind of wanted that as well. And as you can see from the TV, I also got Sonic the Hedgehog 3, which... Uh, Sonic games are hard. Like, if you've never played one of the original Sonic games, be freaking prepared. This game is difficult. I can't get past Hydrocity, and that's stupid. I'll show you what's inside of it, but it's over there. So, moving on from uh, lesser retro games, I got... This is a game I've been playing through. I, hadn't pl I need to find more time to play through it, but it's Immortals Phoenix Rising, and uh, this game is pretty darn cool. If you're a big fan of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy this game a lot. A lot of similar things, although your weapons don't break, which is nice, but there's cooking potions, there's exploring, it's linear enough, but you can easily, you know, play through it a different way. Uh, there's voice acting throughout this in whole, whole entire game, so if you hate reading like me, frick yeah, it's great. I love the voice acting. It's a little cringy at times, but I love the voice acting nonetheless. I got Jets Grind Radio. Now this game, man. This took me forever to find. I finally got it on Christmas. Santa brought it for me. 
brought it for me. But, um, it actually came in the original casing. Because, uh, this was the front cover. If you didn't know, the front cover was actually the magazine. Or the, uh, whatever. But at least it came with this, and then it came with this as well, which was the back of it. So if you, if it was inside the CD case, it would look kind of like this. But, because I'm weird, and I really hate CDs, CD cases, they're the worst, man. DVD cases are way better. I'm using these custom ones I got, but I actually have them in this case that I got. Uh, I won't be leaving a link in the description because I probably won't remember, but there's a website where you can go and actually get the, uh, the pretty much custom artwork for, for uh, Dreamcast games, so you can take them out of the DVD cases or CD cases and put them into DVD cases. And that's what I also did with my copy of Space Channel 5. Last game I'm going to show off, there's one more thing I want to show off as well. But I also got Pokemon Snap. Now, if you didn't know, this game's getting a remake in like a couple couple weeks or months. I don't know when it's coming out. I might get it. I don't know. Let me know if you want me to play this on stream. Because I could play this like a week before the release comes out. So, I'd get views probably from that. So, it wouldn't be a bad idea. I would just have to figure out a setup. Pokemon Snap in absolutely perfect condition. There's not a scratch on it, and I, I couldn't say no to this. I didn't want to buy it, but the fact that the new game's going to be coming out soon, and this was just in peak condition, I couldn't say no. I'm, I actually have been wanting this game for a while, and I've seen reviews on it, so I'm going to get it, and I'm going to play it. I just don't know when. Alright, and the last thing is this thing. I bet you know what that means. The big gift for Christmas I got was the Oculus Quest 2, which is the big boy. The big boy. I actually bought this case a little bit after I got the Oculus Quest 2, but there it is. I haven't made any videos on it just yet because of the recording stuff. I'm not, a, I don't really, oh, I forget. There we go. I don't really, I'm not too big of a fan of doing gameplay videos anymore. I used to enjoy it, but. I mean, I, I definitely tried. I tried to figure out a way of getting some recording out of this, but it's it's really glitchy and it doesn't look that great. So for now, it's mo mainly a personal fun thing I usually use once in a while. Uh, I got Beat Saber on it, Super Hot, some a horror game, and a couple other free games. YouTube, of course. I can watch YouTube on this, which is kind of neat. It works perfectly. If you're in the market for it, get it. It works tremendously. Battery life's not the amazing, but what you gonna do? This thing is absolutely insanity. If you want one, get it. I mean, 300 bucks. Like, it's more for a PlayStation 5. It's $200 more for a PlayStation 5, which you'll probably get more hours out of. But nonetheless, this is an awesome gadget, and I'm really happy that I got it. That's all the new stuff. All right, so... To say goodbye to my room that I spent a long, long time on, the game room, the hangout for me, the office, the Fortnite machine, all that kind of stuff, I'm going to be doing a full-on room tour, 2020 room tour, so I think I'm going to do a room tour every year around this time, so by next year, or by the end of this year, I don't even know, whenever I get my next room up, I'll do a room tour of that, but for now... It's time to say goodbye. Right here is my retro gaming setup. I have a big CRTV with Sonic the Hedgehog 3 on it. Apparently he has been frozen. Down here we have my Sega Genesis, my NES, and my SNES all hooked up to this switch right here. So I can switch back and forth between different uh, the, the three different consoles. And right under the consoles, I have my handheld collection. So in here, I have my Game Boy stuff, my Game Boy Advance stuff, some Game Boy SP stuff back there as well. And then over here, I have my DS and 3DS stuff. Which is pretty cool. Over here, I have my Super Mario thing. So there's a pipe, a coin, a mushroom, Super Mario himself and a box, which all looks really cool together in a
and I like it. I kind of wanted to have that suspended at one point, but I messed it up, and I kind of gave up after that. Same with the other side. I'm just kind of going to glance across all the games I have. If you want to read them off to yourself or pause to see them. But, oh. Over here I have my red couch where I usually hang out and play games. I have a... This is actually kind of new to the collection. I got this at Dave & Buster's, and it's really cool. I also have two pretty cool pillow sheets. One with Mario Galaxy and one with Mar Mario Party DS. And over here is the side table. This is a wooden table made out of an old desk that we had. Or no, another side table. And then there's some stuff on there like Pac-Man coasters. And I also have my Super Mario lamp. And right above the lamp, there's two posters that go right next to each other. Mario and Luigi poster. Or Nario and Luigi. And a Zelda Breath of the Wild poster. Pretty cool stuff. This is where the magic happens over here. I have my full-on modern gaming setup. So I have the Wii, the Switch, the GameCube, the PlayStation 4, the Sega Dreamcast, and the N64. I was gonna put that over there with the retro consoles, but I'd have to build some sort of shelf. But for now, it's over here. All this was connected to a Switch, but I n never ended up buying one. So that's it. On top, I have a PlayStation 4 controller, my old iPad Mini for some reason. Something new I just recently got. It's a uh, wireless GameCube controller, and this is not an original. This was like this is like a brand new controller that came out this year, which is really cool from a company. Then over here, I have a cool headphone stand with my Hyper X with microphone, which is very, very cool and very useful. Above the TV, I have my collection of boxes and, for some reason, Lego Mario. But uh, there's the wheel that came with the Lavo wheel. There's a, a star that lights up a bunch of the boxes that I own, like the Oculus and the Mario Kart Live the home circuit. And then I also have some posters surrounding the TV. Sonic the Hedgehog, S Street Fighter 2, The Legend of Zelda, and Scott the Wise. I gotta help him out, man. He's a cool guy. Over here, I got, of course, the arcade machine, which I've had in here for like three years or so. It's themed after asteroids with the decals on the side, a marquee, and a stool, which I recently got from Christmas that goes perfectly with the arcade machine. And on top, I have the Oculus Quest and my Mario hat, which I wear a lot. Over here, probably the coolest thing I own is this display case with a couple really neat stuff in here like the Virtual Boy, Ocarina and Mario Kart Live, some games for the Virtual Boy and a Junkertown Lego set, my Lego TV that I got last year, which still is one of the coolest things I, I own, Labo something, and then some other stuff down there, like old consoles, but that's definitely one of the coolest things I own in this entire room. And finally, we've reached the end, aka the setup tour. People have their own whole videos on this, but I consider my whole entire room my setup. So, it includes, of course, my setup. So first off, I have this chair. Now, this chair is really cool, but recently it's gotten a big gap here. Over here next to my desk, I have this. This is a tripod from Goodwill that I found for $7. And it works friggin' perfectly, man. I don't know why, I went to Goodwill and I found it for $7. Man, go to Goodwill if you need something like that, because they might have it for like a great price. It's not broken or anything, it's just kind of dusty. Now over here I have my light that I was, I've was i been using to record this video. I can turn it off for now because it's kind of like blinding me. But behind here is my 3D printer, which I just recently moved in here because I was running out of room in my closet and I had to move it back in here. I've had this for two years and it's pretty cool. Maybe I'll use it in the future. It's really, it's really not as fun as you. It sounds the 3D print objects. It's more work than fun, in my opinion. But in the future, if there is something I need to create, I will definitely use it. And then finally, coming over to the brand new desk which I recently bought, which I, I had a corner desk that was made out of glass. I didn't like it, so I sold it, and then I bought a brand new desk. That actually came up came up with this cool gray filing thing, which is really nice. I could store a lot of stuff in there. 
over here in my computer, my Asus laptop, which, you know, again, it's a laptop on, on top of this computer stand, which uh, gives it enough room to where I can store my keyboard underneath it to give me more room right here so I can, like, draw and stuff. Mouse, my JLab microphone, a monitor, my Logitech camera, and that's all the important stuff. There's a lot of stuff I skipped over because I don't want to make this video too long. But just know everything you saw was pretty much all the important stuff. So let's get back to the desk. All right, that's the room. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. The Virtual Boy, the desk, the 3D printer, the CRTV, the posters, the couch, the stool, the TV stand, everything in here is awesome. I've been able to collect a lot of cool stuff. You might think that it's, I'm kind of, I, I'm, I'm rich for owning all this kind of stuff, but it's really because that's, this is all I buy. But that was the video. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, slap that like button down below. Make sure to break your computer. Don't forget to subscribe to become a part of Bimp Nation. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.